welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to do another um, fantasy look for the carnival season that we are now. I'm not really sure what I'm doing or what I'm going to do. I got a plenty. I took off all my or take out all my um, pigments or glitters and stuff like that. And I wanted to do something like um, Cirque du Soleil type of look, but I'm not gonna wipe my face. So if you want to see how I do it, the first thing that I'm going to do is to take um, a white pencil and a star. I'm figuring out the, the design that I want to do. And why I'm doing with a white pencil? Because it's much, um, it gets less dirty. So if I change my mind and design, it won't really affect as much as I, um, if I use a white uh, black pencil. And because I don't have any specific design, it's good to have the chance to erase what you're doing if you're not happy with it. So I'm gonna start just throwing some lines in my face. I know I want a design that is more focused on the upper part of the face, but I'm not really sure the colors or anything, so let's just go ahead and start doing something. I did some lines but I didn't like these lines so with just um, a wipe with um, makeup remover I'm just gonna take it out so that's why we were using a um, white pencil and I'm gonna redo it again gonna start with um, a mangled brush and start blending toward the center of the color so on um, this um these lines here the color will be this size and this line here the color will be this size leaving this part here in the center here free of color so let's start blending that to create a nice base and if it's necessary you can apply more and blend it and blend it and then we're gonna start in color we have the shape of the um, design that we want in white we're gonna start in some color I go here my 88 palette uh, with a lot of tones of um, eyeshadows but what I'm gonna do is choose the eyeshadow that I have pigment um, similar color to like um, for example let's see um, some kind of this type of purple here and I've got this pigment here so I can apply um, eyeshadow first and then I'm gonna add some nice glitter type of um, pigment on top just to give a nice touch at the end. So um, choose th um, colors like that, even if it's all of them similar tones, like all of them are pink, so all of them are red, so sort of stuff like that. Uh, it doesn't matter. It, it, the thing is that you can apply a little bit of pigment on top of the eyeshadow with the same type of tone. So let's start in this color. I'm gonna still using a um, 
uh, the angle brush to apply the color I'm gonna reline all the designs and start blending and when I done all of that I'm gonna start on I'm gonna come back to each line and apply it, uh, the color more deeply with a more um, eyeshadow brush Continue adding um, different colors that we have to choose. Just continue. colors done and we're gonna like um, separate it separate them with black eyeshadow so I'm gonna um, yeah I think I'm gonna use black eyeshadow I'm not sure I'm gonna start with black eyeshadow and I'll see maybe I use liquid liner whatever uh, it depends how I feel like I'm gonna take that matte black eyeshadow and start lining the the uh, separations and blend it just little touch into um, the colors with um, an eyeliner and now I'm blending them with a uh, black pigment 
just to make it a little look nicer, not that straight in. So I'll continue doing that. was after applying the um, um, pigments I applied some glitter in some areas because they were um, not too glittery but um, I'm gonna apply a little extra glitter in some, in some of the color just to show you how I did it now that we have this done I'm going to um, line my waterline with a black eyeliner and also I'm gonna apply false lashes which are going to be fantasy lashes and then blend it toward the inside and then I'm gonna apply uh, maybe some pigment or something I'll see what I do I'm gonna apply a green pigment inside well this is it this is the final look really fantasy strong coloring look with the lashes and on the lips um well, it, it actually spanned all over the face more than I expect, but I hope uh, you liked it, that you will enjoy watching it and you'll try, maybe. And see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>